audio addiction. We have, I believe it's Friday Spirit. They can correct me if I'm wrong, and they can say what they do in the band. You're correct. Hi, yeah. my name is Flo, and I sing in Friday Spirit. <laughs> yeah, I'm Phil, and I'm playing the guitar. Awesome. And the other two guys are, unfortunately, they ill. So, and that's the, the guys who are missing is Dave, and he plays bass, and, and Gregor, who plays drums. Awesome. So my first question, guys, I ask this to every band. How do you start out Friday Spirits? How did you get your members? Um, actually, we started way back in the day, so before 2010, but we, we were kind of a garage band, and okay. we weren't uh, taking things too uh, seriously until 2016, and then we started like really becoming one band, so to say. And Phil, we met like one year ago at university through our former bass player and and our drummer recently joined the band so it's like it's been two months so kind of with a new new setup awesome. that's how we met and then how'd you how'd you guys meet it is that all like have you all met through university or like some other person in like music <clears throat> actually dave who is not here and i we started a band in in high school so we're around pretty a pretty long time and yeah it took us a while to get things more seriously, but we were just a garage band, usually rehearsing on Friday, so hence the name, Friday Spirit. <laughs> and yeah, so Dave and I, we, we know each other for a very long time, and yeah, the other guys joined the band like in, yeah, one year ago, and Greg, we just met two months ago through a friend, through, uh, yeah. Awesome, awesome. That's how we came together. <laughs> awesome. Next question. <laughs> Uh, what are some of the venues you guys like to play at? Um, I'm just curious because if, if I ever decide to go out, uh, I believe to, if I got it correct, Belgium, uh, I would love to like, am I kind of close or not really? We're from Salzburg. That is, that is oh, in okay. Austria. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> oh, man. A few hundred miles in between yeah. us and Belgium. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, we, we want if I ever come to friends. visit you guys, that's I would love to know what some of the venues you want to. Wow, I look like a total asshole now. But anyway, uh, what, <laughs> what are some of the venues you guys like to go catch shows at? Um, here in Salzburg, we usually go into the uh, Rock House, Rock House Bar, which are actually two venues. So the Rock House is kind of the bigger venue, and the Rock House Bar is for many touring bands, so to say, from which are not that popular, but popular enough to, to tour around quite a lot. Of course. And that's quite our first our first place to be when we want to visit concerts. But Salzburg is not that um, the biggest area where many bands uh, pass through. So we usually also drive to Vienna, which is like two or three hours mm -hmm. from here, or to Germany and yeah, going Sal to concerts. Salzburg is uh, better known for classical music yeah. <laughs> and not for rock music. It's, so <laughs> It's kind of the, the birthplace of Mozart, so we uh, <laughs> you can't compete with that. <laughs> hey, maybe you're gonna, maybe you're gonna, guys are gonna change it up or something like that. Maybe rock will be the next yeah. uh, classical music. There yeah. you go. <laughs> anyway. At least we want to. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Listen, you're about it. I'm. I'm. Hopefully, fingers crossed, things work out like that. But uh, the next question, guys, to follow up the venues, what was the last show? I guess that you drove out to to go see. Um, the last show that I visited, the story so far <laughs> in Munich. Uh, it was. It was a good show. I've seen them. Actually, first time I've seen them was in in New York in the PlayStation Theater. Oh, which was, okay, yeah. It was really, really good. And when I heard that they are going to pl going to play in Munich, I thought, yeah, I need to attend that show. And it was really cool. It was a, a small venue, but uh, very intimate, very cool show. Yeah, the last show I went to was SLA Dying. Ooh, there you <laughs> go. okay. Yeah, music. So. My musical approach is a bit different. I mostly listen to metalcore or metal bands. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, this was my last show, but I think it can match also if you don't listen to the same music. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, that's what brings the variety. So I'm about it. Like I feel like I listen to everything from like sorry so far to like as I lay dying. So 
um, I'm yeah. about your band for sure. But my next <laughs> question, guys, the most important one, tell them about your musical influences. I guess, who do you draw from? Um, it's kind of difficult <laughs> because when we started a band, we were much into oi music or punk, punk rock music, uh, like bands uh, like the Flatliners, uh, Mill and Colin, or the Menzingers. And when Phil joined the band, things started to, uh, to, to get out of hand, so to say. <laughs> so um, we could describe our, our, our current music as a mixture between, uh, it's kind of pump, uh, pop punkish when it comes to vocals, uh, but for the instrumental part, it's more uh, metalcore, I'd say. So it's a cool, cool mixture with those genres. But yeah, it's, it's pretty hard to describe mm-hmm. because there are no other bands we think that make a comparable music in terms of in terms of genre but yeah that's uh, but our main influences right now i'd say are the story so far kill switch engage and as i lay dying oh okay okay i okay. feel well, well, you... i have to say it's not the modern metalcore that you know with, with black chant style or something <laughs> <laughs> but um at least some influences if we, at the melodies or some riffing stuff, but it's not that uh, hard like like bands you're listening today, or like SLA Dying is today. <laughs> <laughs> there are only ideas we, we we take and try to mix into our music. I think for me, like one of the bands, because I had the chance to listen to the the most latest single. I think for me, it's kind of reminds me a lot of. Uh, I'm sure you're familiar with the UK band Trash Boat. They uh. Um, Maybe not, I don't know. <laughs> but you should definitely check them out because uh, I feel like you guys would fit very well like in terms of sound-wise. Like they both, they both have like a very – you guys both have a similar sort of sound. I feel like you guys have more of a – just a little bit more grit to you, but uh, definitely okay. overall I feel like to me that was one of the bands that I was like, okay, I can like, automatically get into that band because I, I love Trash Boat. What's, so. what's the band called? Trash Boat. Trash, Tra- Trash Boat, correct. Hey, cool. Boat, like boat. Yes, like <laughs> boat, like a sailboat. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely that sort of style. I also picked out like some stories so far in terms of the vocals as well. So definitely on my line of t- the type of music that I enjoy. And also I enjoy like Kill Switch Engage and, and, you know, As I Lay Dying for sure. So I could get that sort of vibe as well. So definitely on the right track. And you came to the right place, certainly. But uh, my next question, guys, to kind of follow up the influences, who have you been jamming recently? Who's, like, on your Spotify or you've been listening to lately? Hmm. Um, I feel like I listen to a lot of different music. So just today I was was listening to, to Daughter, you? Yeah. So, uh, and, and today I was listening to, 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 to folk stuff a lot and because i'm listening to the stories uh, so far so so often <laughs> that i need to <laughs> mix it up with different genres um but I, I recently folk stuff like more more calm stuff actually but you're just i think you're more uh more on on, on the on the on the uh metal core yeah but today I, listen, I had to listen to in flames because they yeah. released the and I'm a huge In Flames fan, and also sometimes there are influences from In Flames in our music, but, but it's not that obviously. <laughs> but I feel like you're very dedicated always to to metalcore. Yeah, know. I would say I love to listen to different music, but um, most of the time I. <laughs> it gotta be true. Yeah, <laughs> I, I have my bands, and uh, I like them, and I love them, and I'm listening to them all the time. So. Yeah. That's awesome. I definitely have to check out the new In Flames because I know I knew that they had released stuff, but there was like twenty million other bands that released stuff on Friday. So I'm gonna have to it's have to like add a wind like throwing in folk. <laughs> <laughs> All this is little folk stuff. What 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 are type of the what are some of the bands that like folk bands that you've been listening to that that you could like? Um, Holocaust. Okay. I don't know. They're pretty cool. And um, yeah, yeah, but nothing compared to in flames. <laughs> 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 I 
I got to keep true. I got to keep, true, to keep <laughs> true to what I listen to. So, I mean, I feel like I got to yeah. branch out a little bit, but I'll, I'll definitely have to listen to that. I have to listen to him. You have to send him send me a song you like, and I'll have to give it a listen. Um, but sure. my next one, guys, <laughs> is a fun one. If you guys could pick a song to cover, what would it be? Ooh, okay. Um, we thought of some, and uh, we like uh, John Coffey. It okay. was a band who broke up a few years ago. Oh. From the Netherlands. That's that's close to Belgium, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're just going <laughs> to... I feel like this is just going to be like roast me all, time, all the time. <laughs> I know, I feel it. <laughs> but we wanted to cover what was the song called? Um, romance, actually. Okay. They're, I think they're the they're, they're most famous song. It's 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 they were not the biggest band, but they they think kind of reached everything you can when you're in the Netherlands because the Netherlands are such a a, a small country, and they. <laughs> I think they're, they're just, they, were, they were just a very, very good band, and we, we really liked them a lot. And we were thinking about covering the uh, song Romance by them. You'll definitely have but, to get around to doing it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because we're, we're, we're heading into the into studio in two weeks, so we don't have much time on, <laughs> on, the, yeah, on recording covers. Or, yeah. <laughs> recording covers. <laughs> But it would be cool to do a to do a, a John Coffee cover. Awesome, awesome, guys. Next question, another fun one. Favorite food to eat? <laughs> Favorite food to eat? That's easy. Uh, I'm a lasagna fan. Oh, a lasagna. Okay. All day, every day. <laughs> okay. Well, for me, it's a bit difficult. I, because I... his mother cooks so damn good. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday. What, what what did you have today? Uh, I think it was um, duck in orange sauce. <laughs> duck in orange sauce. I had, I had a fucking salami today. <laughs> <laughs> but if, if I could change, I would just <laughs> prefer eating every Sunday at, at his house. <laughs> that would be my favorite dish. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, it's difficult. But I, I like uh, Asian food very much. Um, I think my favorite Asian meal is ramen noodles. I like Ooh, them a lot. Okay. <laughs> or your mom's cooking. I feel like I feel like yeah, you said well, duck with, cooking. like, orange sauce. I'm like, what is this, like, a five-star restaurant? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to come to you guys. That's in uh, Austria, which uh, I'm going to get correct yeah, this time, and I'm going to remember it every single time now. Not Australia. Not <laughs> Australia. Man, you guys are just out for blood today, so I'm going to have to be careful what I say now. Anyway. Bring it on. <laughs> anyway, guys, next question. Uh, if you could pick somebody to collaborate with, whether it would be a guest vocalist on your next record or a producer you'd like to work with, who would it be? Hmm. Since we are like a, a very small band, we, we I think we're not in the reach of any producers. And there are not many renowned producers in Austria. And I don't know, hmm, know of any that that I would like to work with, but, <laughs> hmm, but guest vocalist would be interesting. It would be cool to have to, to have a metalcore vocalist, yeah. <laughs> because our bass player tr tries to do the, the scream parts, and it would be cool to have an actual <laughs> professional <Yeah>. doing that. He's <laughs> <laughs> gonna kill me for that if he sees yeah. the video, but it would be cool to 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 record something with a, a singer from We Blame the Empire. <laughs> yeah. That's actually a very, a very cool Austrian metalcore band. We blame the Empire. He does a really good job. I think it would be cool to have him on our songs, on, our, on the record. That would be nice. Gotta okay. check them out. <laughs> we I blame will. the Empire. You'll have, to, you'll have to hit them up and be like, yo, let's get on a track. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah, we should do that. Yep. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Thanks, be, Brandon. I'm not all I'm not all bad. So <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, next question. If there is another musical instrument that you wish you could play, what would it be? Hmm. Mm -hmm, difficult. Um I started to think about um putting some synthesizers in our music. 
and I bought one <laughs> a few <laughs> days ago, and I'm starting to play keyboard. So you did? I, yeah, <laughs> so that's cool. that's my wish to be better on keys. And let's see. Mm, for me, I think I. Yes, he's vocalist. Uh, yeah. You don't want to I play. Mean, I, 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 I play drums. I played drums before. Um, but I would love to be to be better on on in playing guitar. <laughs> I, I, I taught it myself, and I, I just know a few chords. But it would be cool to to like to shred it more. <laughs> but, I'm, but I think uh, I'm not not talented enough for that. <laughs> but it would be cool. Hey, you gotta give yourself <laughs> enough credit, Flo. You got, you got yeah. some, you got, you got some guitar players in your band, so gonna happen, certainly. Yeah. Awesome guys. Give me some lessons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming. Anyway, guys, next question. I'm a huge nerd, so I always love asking this question. If you could be a video game character, who would you be? Ooh, video game character. Hmm. Ooh. Difficult. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I think uh, I would be for all in World of Warcraft. Oh, <laughs> That's my favorite. Okay. Character. Okay. okay. Um, I'd go for Princess Zelda. I don't know if you can see it. But hey, see, like, yeah. Little light that I got going yeah. on here. So. <laughs> Majora's Mask, best game ever. That is a debatable thing. Which we're not gonna go into because uh, I don't have time <laughs> for that. But uh, I'm just gonna leave that at that. So if you think okay. that Major if you think it's that Majora's Mask, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> if you think that Majora's Mask is the best, comment below. And if you don't, go check out Friday yeah. Spirit. That's that. Just message them and say that it's not. So anyway, <laughs> next question, guys, is a more music but on the really or the best game, I think. But <laughs> it was just okay. okay. <laughs> Sorry for interrupting. <laughs> just kidding. I, I, I legitimately think that it's. Uh, I think it's definitely one of the best Zelda games of all time. But uh, I don't know. That's tough. I, I probably have to go with Wind Waker because that was the one that I was like hella into when I was a kid. So I would say that, even though I would say most people aren't like the biggest fan of that one. Just because it's like yeah. cartoony and like goofy a little bit, but I'll I'll give you credit on the Majora's Mask. That's that's <laughs> either that or Ocarina of Time. I'd have to go with either one of those two. It's it th that's tough. It's tough. That's a tough question. <laughs> but anyway, guys, next question: okay. musical related stuff. If you guys could compile a dream tour, who would be on it? Hmm. The story so far. <laughs> <laughs> it would be cool to, to tour with the story so far, but I, I, I would doubt that the the genre wouldn't fit too much. <laughs> but it would be cool to, to have a have a tour with them or with SLA Dying. It would be yeah. brutal to to have the opportunity to do that. So we but have maybe we, so uh, far. We have as I lay dying. So and then obviously your band. So you have two more two more choices that I'm giving you. Two more. Two more choices. Two more choices. Okay. okay. So, Stories of Fart, uh, SLA Dying. And us. <laughs> and us. Hmm. <laughs> if John Coffee would reunite going <laughs> with them, <laughs> that would be dope. And one band. What? No, one band. Hmm. It's difficult. We, we, we talked many times about it. <laughs> <laughs> what could be a band we can tour with? Maybe the band that you, uh, you, that mentioned, you mentioned before. Oh, Trash the, Boat? The yeah. Okay. We're going for them. Bring Trash <laughs> we Boat. Don't know them. We don't know them. <laughs> we're, we're going for that. I'll send, I'll send you some stuff. They're, they're again, a phenomenal yeah. band. Um, we'll trust them. <laughs> Well, if you you can't trust where I, my geography's at, so then now uh, I don't know if you can trust my music choices at this point. Anyway, guys, next question: In your opinion, who puts on a great live show? Who's who puts on a great live show? Hmm. The best live show that I've experienced uh, was actually a, a Foo Fighters concert. I think Dave Grohl is just a very charismatic person on his own 
and he was just he, he's like a one man army on stage and I yes. I loved his performance. That was kind of the, the top shelf for me. And for me it was a smaller band from England. It's called Raven Eye. Don't know if you know it. I saw it in Vienna and it was just a small club gig. But uh, there was some it was a very cool experience because the band was uh, near to the to the audience and they went in the audience and, and played around uh, beside the people and so it it was really fun and uh, even though they, they were a bigger band and and some a bit famous I think <laughs> but it was a good experience to be uh, such near to those yeah, guys to be so close yeah. to yeah. to the actual performer that's the that's the cool thing about club shows to be actual to have an actual proximity to the to the band. That's cool. Yeah. Are like the the venues that are in Austria like are they are they close like are they like smaller gigs where they're like the, you can see the band up close and stuff like that and be like real like you could be up close and see them. Yeah, usually there there are not that many big venue venues. There's the mm. there's some big venues. But most of the venues that we play are just club shows, very intimate. The, the, the cool thing is uh, when bands from America, <laughs> for example, come to Austria, they don't have that big audience like uh, at your home. And so they have to play at smaller venues. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. the, they're much closer to the audience than, but for example, in USA. Almost exclusively a very, a very good experience when foreign bands come to Austria and play tiny shows, or tiny, not tiny shows, but the venues are a little bit tinier. That's very cool. But we have yeah. big ones too. Uh, if, if Metallica comes to Austria, they also play uh, a big hall or something else. It's usually like a big open air. Yeah. But yeah. Awesome. And also we have big festivals like, like Nova Rock. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's true. You do have some really great festivals that I hope to get around and go to see eventually in my lifetime but anyway yeah next question you can guys. stay with Phil. stay oh stay with him okay cool <laughs> awesome <laughs> next question guys another fun one a favorite tv show favorite movie favorite tv show favorite movie um favorite tv show uh game of thrones that's an easy one <laughs> <laughs> and favorite movie Hmm. Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings, yeah. <laughs> Say it. Yeah, Lord of the Rings. <laughs> yeah, Game of Thrones and Lord of the Rings. What about you? Yeah, for me, I, I don't watch a TV series that much, but uh, I have to say Breaking Bad, for example. And movies, uh, when Lord of the Rings is uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. already said, <laughs> I, I, I would take uh, Interstellar. It's a really Ooh. cool movie. I okay, like. cool. Yeah. I like how you picked like Game of Thrones and Lord of the Rings as if like, <laughs> you're, like you're like oh well this like medieval stuff wasn't enough for me I'm just gonna I'm doing both I'm p putting my hands in. Both There's hats. actually a new uh, a new uh, Lord of the Rings series coming out on 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 Prime. I have to but watch it. I'm really intrigued about that one. I know you'll be you like heard? you'll be oh. like you'll be like the first first person to watch it all the way through. Just you stay up all night watch the entire series. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have heard of it, so I'm excited as well. I'll have to I'll have to I, I didn't know how soon it's coming out, but I'll have to check it out. Hopefully it's out now. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, yeah. guys, next question, another musical related one. If you're trapped on a desert island and there was one album that you could bring with you, what album would it be? That's mm -hmm. a nice question. I think that's an easy one for you. No, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's like I'm only listening to one album. <laughs> you guys are dying album. No, no. No. You first. Um, okay. <laughs> um, what album? Um, hmm. That's difficult. <laughs> Gee. Um... I don't know actually. <laughs> it's I don't know, it's, it's, if, if I if I had to choose, story so far. Uh, I, I I gotta pick the, the story so far. Nerve. <laughs> I think it's called Nerve. Okay. Yeah. I would go for that. I could listen to that every day. So I think on a on a remote island, 
passing my time with the story so far seems seems reasonable. And me. <laughs> you know, <I> love me. <laughs> yeah, my favorite album. Uh, it's uh, As Daylight Dies from Kill Switch Engage because it was the album where I first got into metal music and I can listen to it all the time. It's it's timeless. <laughs> so Kill Switch. Kill Switch. Okay. There you go. There you go. I was close. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> 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 anyway, guys. The last thing, tell them about Friday Spirit, where they can find you at on social media, and anything coming out in the next couple of months. Um, so if you want to catch us on our social media, so it's you better uh, you best visit our homepage, which is which is www.fridayspirit.com, and I think we're on. I hope that was the question. Yes, <laughs> yes. <it was>. Okay, <laughs> because I I I, I haven't co uh, coined that. So yeah, best visit our website and what's coming. <laughs> Are you good? Yeah, that's, so good. <laughs> that's so good. Continue. Okay, and as mentioned, as I mentioned before, uh, we're going to studio in two weeks' time, and in Rosenheim. In, in Rosenheim, which in is Germany. in Germany, Bavaria, which everybody knows for its beer. I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but we are not uh, we are not going there because of the beer. No, we are recording <laughs> a new single, and we also want to uh, make a new music video, and it will be released at summer or autumn yeah. this year. Fall, I think. Yeah. Fall, yeah. And our next big goal would be an album next year, but yeah. the writing process has to be. Much, get more intense. Fat. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. <laughs> go go check out Friday Spirits. Thanks to Valentine, she's the best. So I gotta, yeah. gotta show her some love. Even though I thought you guys were from Australia, I don't know where Austria is on the map now, but now I do. So that's all good. And uh, okay. you should check out their band because. <laughs> Uh, I'm a complete fuck up and I uh, messed up this entire interview. So if that seems, <laughs> please check out this band. Go check them out. Links are in the description. Go follow them on social media. Go keep up with their music because I feel like for me, when I listened to the single, I was like already hooked on it. I thought the music video itself was very cool too. Just you guys like out in the wilderness. I thought that was really neat. Um, but go go give their new track a listen. Uh, I'll leave a link to that at the end of the video. Go subscribe to their YouTube channel as well. And if you enjoyed this interview, uh, and please comment below. Tell me where Austria is at because and just like you know, just tweet me a map of where Austria is and just circle it. So I I know where it is and I know where you guys exist at. So uh, definitely go, <laughs> definitely go hit that subscribe button, share it, like it. It means a lot. And thanks, of course, to Friday Spirit for coming on. Thanks for having us. Yes. Bye. Okay. Hey, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks for watching, of course. Uh, if you enjoy what we do, make sure to go check out the other series we do. We do album reviews, we do band interviews, and we do live videos. So definitely go check that out. Um, hit that subscribe button. It really helps our channel, helps us grow. Make sure to hit that like button as well. Uh, go follow us on social media. That's all down below. We try to keep that as updated as possible. We also made a new website where we'll be posting photos of upcoming concerts and stuff like that, which you can go check out at audioaddictionmedia.com and come get your fix with us, guys. Talk to you later. Deuces.